race of this meet, the 200 fly. Jack Conger of Texas said the American record in this event in a time trial last year at the Big 12 Championships. Dylan Bosch of Michigan and South Africa set the NCAA record in winning this title two years ago. And their front and center, the American record holder Jack Conger is on your left. The NCAA record holder Dylan Bosch is on your right. When Conger set that record last year, he broke the American mark set by Michael Phelps and tied by Tom Shields. Yeah, two amazing swimmers and two of the big favorites to make the Olympic team for the U.S. in both butterfly events. But Jack Conger, Dylan Bosch, schooling, they may all give everybody a run for the money this summer. Schooling, schooling is the in defending champion in yeah, this event. Defending champion. We talk about Bosch and Conger as the record holders. And Jack Conger certainly could be one of the favorites. He's yet to win here. One of the few Longhorns that hasn't won an event. He's been very close in a couple others, but been big part of Texas at relays. Dylan Bosch has a chance to make history by winning this race again. It's been two years, though. Last time he won was back in 2014. This, this shapes up to be another good one. I, I can't imagine another record. I mean, it's like we're becoming broken records, talking about it, about all these records that are just coming down again and again and again. And I think we're going to see another one here. I think somebody's going to end up having to break 139 to win this. Already have 10 NCAA records, seven American records broken this week. 22 flat. They're ahead of American record pace, which is, by the way, the fastest time in history. Joseph Schooling of Texas is in lane three. Toward the bottom of your screen is teammate Jack Conger in lane four. And then there's Dylan Bosch in lane five of Michigan. Andrew Seliscar, the excellent freshman for Cal, in the yellow cap toward the top of your screen in lane six. Well, they're definitely going out for it. The split was 47-3. He's 46-8 going out. It's Conger of Texas with the lead with his teammate Joseph Schooling, the defending champion in this event, on his heels with a lap to go. Conger, the junior, really wants this. He knows he's been close. He knows he's been so close, but Schooling has a great back half of the race, and now all of a sudden you think Joseph Schooling might have the edge. Good turn there by Schooling. Had a lot of momentum going into that wall, and now he takes the lead. Bosch is out of it. It's Conger and Schooling. Look at them go turning through the water. Schooling has record in finishing second. I, I've never seen a, a final session at the NCAA championship in my life. This is my 29th year of doing the NCAAs in broadcasting. I was a part of four as a swimmer. I've never seen anything like it. The, the dramatic drops. I've seen records broken, Rich, but I've never seen the dramatic drops that have happened the last four races. It's it's just unbelievable. And Rowdy, this is happening in Olympic year when people have their focuses not just here, but also on the trials in the Olympics. Here's the turn right here. You could just see schooling right there as he comes in. He's real long on that turn. Very long. He might have been able to take another stroke, which is, by the way, what he did going into that last turn. When he went into his last turn, this is the 150 here. Conger still has the lead. The two Longhorns way out in front of everybody at this point. There's, there's uh, Schooling actually kind of having a short turn there. He really crunched his last turn, but enough to where he had the momentum going into and out of the wall, and that's what proved the big difference. Here's the last wall underwater. You can't really tell there, but. You you knew that he had the momentum going into and out of the wall, and that's what you needed. He had a great breakout stroke. Conger fought him the whole way. He he went by 138. The record was 135.93. He never even hit 138. He went 137. <laughs> and then Conger, what a great swim for this young man. The junior from Texas breaks the American record. The fastest time, well, the second fastest time in history.
But there's the fastest right there ever, ever. Joseph Schooling of Singapore, a 2012 Olympian. Last year won bronze in the 100-meter fly at the Worlds in Kazan, Russia. Just ahead of three-time NCAA champ from the U.S., Tom Shields. And you'll be seeing Schooling, who's just a sophomore for Texas, in this event for the next couple of years and you'll be seeing him on a world stage as well jack conger was very disappointed but he broke the american record and schooling goes sub 138 to win it for the longhorns joseph schooling with an ncaa record your teammate jack conger with an american record what is it about this week that all of these records are dropping yeah you know like i said yesterday um it's hard to get up and race at this meet uh, I think it's the best meet in the world. If you don't do it for yourself, you do it for your team, you do it for Texas, you do it for the people that came here to support you. So that's what we've been doing all week. What, what did uh, Eddie Reese just say to you over here after that race? <laughs> he said, never act tired. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty tired right now, but I got one more relay to go. Try to finish strong. So you earned the right to be tired. Good luck on the relay. <laughs> Thank you.